life story. It'll make you weep. It's a real tear jerker. Hey there, got a minute for a cripple. Could you give me a leg up? I could really use one. Welcome to the Court of Miracles. All things are possible here. If you thought a fiction failed, it's why. The production is Hunchback. Um, it's written by Jonathan Christensen. He's uh, the composer, the writer, and director. the director of the show. We've drawn upon one source material, which is the book by Vic Victor Hugo. And a very dark book. Very dark book. Gothic romantic tale. Wow. It's, uh, it's not the Disney version. It's the opposite of the Disney version. <laughs> <laughs> this production follows quite closely the actual Hugo novel, which is a 460 page epic. And uh, it is quite tragic. It is not the um, perky, happy ending love story, that is to be sure. So uh, yes, it does, it does follow all of the deep, dark nastiness of love. I, I don't know the exact dates that Jonathan and Bretta started conjuring this idea and conjuring the world of hunchback and where that all began, but I think the seeds of this probably go way back. Mm -hmm. And us as actors join the process and, um, and it's, been, it's been six months to this point of thinking about it, working on it, mm -hmm. uh, whether in rehearsal or not, we've, we've been devoted to it. That's right. Yeah. And the script has been ever evolving since, yeah. since six months ago. Six months ago, mm -hmm. we only had about two-fifths of the the work in progress at that point, no costumes, and um, but we had Bretta bring these sketchbooks, and she would be sketching all the time. This is the the designer of the show, and she'd be there watching our physicalities and watching the actors make their choices about what they think the character should be, and she's there creating the costumes around what we bring to the rehearsal. Jonathan and I are both big sketchers, so there's a lot of sketches of this project. We're really brave about just throwing ideas out there and um, we're fearless about how bad they might be. So we, we are able to call them down to things that feel like they're going to work not only for the production, but for, of course, the storytelling and getting across the, uh, the place, Paris, of the time and how all of these characters have come to be. That extra involvement that uh, that Catalyst allows you to have also leads to everybody being invested on, on a similar level. We all care about the future of the baby, the baby mm -hmm. being the production we're going to unveil on Thursday. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Whenever that is. Yes. yes. <laughs> I hope the audience is, uh, goes on a journey. I hope they are excited and uh, full of imagination and can um, fall in love with these characters in the way that we have. Live life fully. Mm -hmm. Love fully. Mm -hmm. Love unconditionally. And bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, um, the beautiful, magical thing about the Hunchback is that he is uh, on the outside uh, scary, misunderstood, and shunned. And on the inside is the most um, warm, generous, intelligent, open soul. And that is what I love about.